Good. Close that window before it goes mad. Right, so check this out. Uh, oh, don't look at that. That was something wrong. That was wrong, man. Okay. Um, I don't know what I was doing last time, but I decided that I would get back into creating a new uh, real-time Vuex sync thing. Uh, and my main ambition was it would be in Couch DB stroke Pouch DB one document which you could then um, append your notes to, so files to it. So you've got this one document that contains all those. Um, that seemed like the best way to do it. Okay, so what you can see now is I've got two browsers open. When I create a brand new entry, you can see in real time that it gets updated and it's really quick and there's no delay. Like before, there was obviously some weird delay and you saw a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just going to talk through that briefly. And I knew I was doing something wrong because it just didn't seem right that I was having to do loads of these things to make stuff reactive through all the weird stuff I had. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, it w this, this is so much simpler. Okay, so obviously in my store, I have got a state which is called notes. Calling this state actually also turns out to be quite important. Um, so, okay, let's see if I can explain it the best way possible. Um, so, what I first do is I dispatch this sync DB, which basically goes and do does the uh, replicating from the remote, turns on the two-way synchronization, and if there are any changes, it gets the database, which is what I always thought I just need to do. And it is exactly what I just need to do. I'm not doing anything else in any weird way at whatsoever. Um, so we get the date, we dispatch the sync, and then we also commit the database at the beginning, right? Um, so that mutation is all done. So this the states are all up, you know, synchronized to begin with. Right. Then um, we obviously when we get the database, we pop our uh, date our pouch DB information into the state, so it's now here for us to do stuff with, right? So that means we've got a local copy which is then being displayed here, okay? And we're using this computed map state, which we're importing here, to display all of the notes, and then we're going into those notes. And we're just showing a piece of one of them, which is just the text. All right. So I've got that working pretty quickly, actually. Um, and it seemed to make a, make a lot more sense. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was doing before. Way, way wrong. Anyway, we can review the last video and see what the heck I was talking about. Anyway, so then in the store. Um, oh, OK, where's my toolbar? My toolbar, I obviously dispatch this create thing, which adds a document. Which is the thing when I click here, see, boom, boom, boom. And then what I do, this is the great bit, yeah? Because uh, pouch and couch don't, they, you can't add to documents. And But I didn't want to create like loads of documents because that was causing some problems. I thought, actually, I just want to keep it simple. And if I just have a document that is all my notes and that has some data, then I can have other um, documents to interact with that in particular ways, right? So I think this is the right way to go anyway, and it's just because it's working really well. So what I do now is when I click the create um, button, it is a action which sends that information to the add doc. What well, tells the add doc to go to do something because I'm not actually I'm going to click create. There's no I'm not filling in any forms or anything at this point. And that's fine, I don't want to. Um, what it does is then it sends this mutation, which is going to do a bunch of things. And what it does is the mutation um, creates a unique ID, and then it goes to get the pouch. Okay? So it gets pouch, but what it does, before it like does its whole thing of putting the data into that, it takes current store 
pops it into this variable here and then it pushes a new entry onto the end of that array so now we've got all the information we had before from the pouch in here and then we pop a new entry on the end which we can then obviously we'd edit later or well, this would take us straight to an edit screen rather than just creating a massive list and then I put into the pouch I update my obviously put it into my document I update the revision which is great and I pop in the current store which is now all of the stuff that was there before plus the new entry um, and that obviously triggers a change that's being heard because the database has changed and it does the get DB which basically makes it work in real time like really real time um, which I'm pretty blown away with um, I knew I was doing it wrong I knew it had to be simple it was simple uh, it just took me flipping ages to work it out today um, still haven't got couch DB running with my SSL certificate which is annoying so I can't put it online but all the code is obviously pushed up to um, my GitLab, gitlab.adamproctor.co.uk so yeah this is quite exciting I'm going to save, I'm saving all this now probably branch from this point because this is working really well and when I start to think about like new interactions I want to hit create it doesn't just bang 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 it takes you to an entry you know to edit this entry straight away so that you can e edit that piece and then that will then be you know well it was the thing is it's going to be able to save that in real time so yeah it's going to be great I mean if you're both in the same editing screen you could you should be able to collaborate in editing the text yeah. Ooh, okay. That's gonna get com it's gonna get complicated, obviously. But for now, check it out. We can just get a little hey. Obviously, see if I can edit those the better. It looks a bit mad. New entry, but it's good though. Oh, I can edit them in um, couch. So. <laughs> which is great, and they've all got unique IDs, so I should, in theory, be able to edit using that somewhere in probably the, maybe the URL, which would then help if I wanted to do collaborative or non-collaborative. Oh, so annoying when you get so far and then it's the end of the day and you've got to eat and stop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I've downloaded last week's one about view in real time, which obviously is now defunct um, as a process but um, this is great news okay thanks again for watching all the zero fans you can watch it on um, callback <laughs>